Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to properly use and install Sherlock. Before we start, please be advised this training is only designed for educational purposes and ethical hacking. So let's go ahead and start. Go ahead and launch your uh, Firefox, if you don't have the application, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and navigate to GitHub and download this tool. So we're going to type. Then we're going to go ahead and select the first link. Make sure this is the author. And you simply go ahead and click copy. Close this. You open your terminal. You can go ahead and navigate into the directory you want to download this tool. But uh, for simplicity, I'm just going to go ahead and download it on the home directory. So I'm just going to go ahead and do sudo git clone, paste the link, and as soon as you click enter, you should be able to download this. Okay, here we go. So if we go ahead and do an ls, we should um, see the package that we just downloaded which is right here. So we're just going to go ahead and navigate to that directory. We do another ls and yes, here we go. We have the file downloaded completely. For us to be able to set it up, if you guys uh, look over the GitHub uh, repository, you will see the process of how to download this tool. But what you need to simply do is you need to go ahead and install the requirement and then you will be able to run Sherlock. Before you do so, make sure your uh, Kali Linux or your Parrot OS is fully up to date. Make sure you're using Python 3 and make sure you have pip already installed on your machine. If not, go ahead and pause the video and install those two and then continue. Since we have the tool already installed, we're just gonna go ahead and install requirement. So you're gonna do sudo Python, Make sure you do Python 3. We're going to do mpip install our requirement text. So as soon as you click enter, it's going to go ahead and download and install all the requirement for this specific tool. And we're all set. We are ready to use Sherlock tool. So the way you use it, if you want to first learn how to use it again, if you uh, navigate to that repository on GitHub, you'll uh, learn a lot more about it. Uh, by going on their wiki or visiting their website, but you can also simply do sudo python, and we're going to do python3, and we're going to do sherlock, and we're going to do dash dash help, and here we go. This is all the commands available on this tool. You can go through it. It has a lot of uh, you know, useful um, command that you can use, for example, dash dash tor will use basically tor application for anonymity and you can use proxy chain uh, or, you know, you can use a specific website name uh, to search and you can use timeout. So before we start, what does this tool actually do? This is basically an information gathering tool. Uh, you can give it some specific usernames and it will go through uh, multiple sites and it will check for matching names. So let's say Katie, for example, it will go uh, through all the website available in it database and it will uh, check for that a specific username. When you're trying to gather information, you're basically looking for vulnerabilities and uh, basically uh, some footholds. Uh, it's not going to be as accurate. However, this is just an information gathering tool. So when you're trying to ethically hack a company or a person, you're basically going to try many different user names. Therefore, you will try as best as you can to gather as much as information so you can proceed with many different type of attacks. So let's go ahead and give it a try and see how this works. Uh, as I said, we're going to just do sudo python3. We're going to do Sherlock, and this time uh, we're just going to put the username. You don't need to specify anything. You can just go ahead and uh, put the username. For sake of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put uh, something like Hecate. We're going to go ahead and click enter. So it's going to set the username as Hecate. And as you can see, it has been able to 
um, find a lot of different uh, users in many different platforms. It, it will take a lot of time for it to go over all the links and websites that it has available. Uh, but if you want to do a quick search, you can basically go ahead and do the same command. But this time you can add a timeout. But for timeout, you have to specify it in seconds. So if you put like one second, it will only spend one second to go through every single uh, website. Or if you put like three seconds, it only spend three seconds. And if it couldn't find any result, it will just skip to the uh, next website. So it makes the search much faster. So we're going to go ahead and click search. And as you can see, again, it will come up with a lot of results uh, when you're trying to uh, ethically hack a company or a person you're gonna try many different usernames uh, you're gonna try their first name last name first name and last name together nicknames or any type of username that they might use for example their Facebook username their Instagram username their you know uh, their different the common username that they might use and then from there you start navigating to the website that you can try uh, to do injection or you can do some uh, water holding and you know cross site and many different type of attacks so this is just an information gathering tool as I said and this basically help you to proceed with a better penetration and it helps you to figure out what are the best way to attack your target. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be posting many more ethical hacking videos every week. So if you like this type of video, please go ahead and like and subscribe and stay tuned for future videos. Thanks again and you guys have a great day.